Storage devices is one of the most important items you should have, especially if you are on the go. As a content creator on a budget, we should always save a bit of our money to make the most out of it. And so we stumble upon this high capacity, budget, and portable SSD, which is why today we are reviewing the Hikvision T100i. What's up guys, Jidus here and welcome back again to my YouTube channel where we talk about tech and lifestyle. Hikvision is one of the well-known brand that produces CCTVs and home security and little that we don't know is that they also produce storage devices. These storage devices are SSDs and surprisingly they are affordable and comes in a small form factor which looks like this. So before we start, please send some love by subscribing to my YouTube channel and if you got any content ideas on your mind, feel free to comment it down below. Also, this item has been purchased with my own money and this is not sponsored. Everything here will be coming from my own expenses and for my own use. So what comes in the box is the SSD itself, a quick start gate paper, and a 12 foot USB 3.1 cable with Type-C on one end and Type-A on the other. The storage capacity for this is 256 gig and no doubt it really looks very stylish and lightweight with its plastic material built. It has a nice tiny hole for your laundry so you can avoid losing your small SSD, a nice reflective Hikvision logo for an accent. Below you can find the LED indicator indicating the activity of the SSD next to the USB port. And at the back will be a blank one with the printed logo only. Though, the whole body is actually very fingerprint magnetic. Internally, it is rocking the Hikvision M SATA SSD with the model number C100M on a Type-C board adapter. It is actually interesting how they were able to make the most out of their own product to make this kind of external SSD. On paper, they have promised us a 450 MB per second read speed and 400 MB per second write speed for the 256 gig model. So we'll see about it on our testing in few moments. We will be having two types of testing for this SSD. The first one will be the benchmark testing with the help of Blackmagic this speed test. And the second one will be the real life scenarios which will be moving fast from one disk to another. As a result, the average write speed is surprisingly higher than what was promised, while the read speed is actually just right as it is on paper. Now, for the testing that really makes sense, transferring files from one SSD to another. There will be two types of testing here, the sequential speed and the random speed. Sequential speed will be working with large files like ISO, while the random speed will be dealing with multiple small files inside a directory.
these numbers, file transfer should be smooth as butter and surprisingly exceeded my expectation for an SSD with this price range. So let's test it out with Final Cut Pro. So currently, my library is on my MacBook so let's make a copy to the Hikvision SSD. As a result, you will be experiencing some pain drops, so I would say that it will be a painful process if you will be working with multiple layers, and maybe not if you will be using it for light editing only. A testing would be complete without a speed comparison on exporting Final Cut Pro Master File.
recommend this SSD for your daily workflow? Definitely, yes. It does the job of expanding your storage, having it portable, compact, very low cost, at a fast and efficient speed. Will this SSD be a game changer for content creators? Maybe not. Although that exporting seems to be basing up in the MacBook SSD, it will be problematic on the long run if you will be expecting to work with multiple layers on few frames on your timeline. This SSD is best for file management, storing your applications to free up some space on your laptop, and portability. And so that ends my video. Let me know your thoughts about this tech item in the comment section down below. And please do like this video if you find it very helpful. And see you on the next one. Goodbye!